Welcome back to another episode of the Lap of Luxury Reviews. Today, we're proud to present you an up close and personal in depth review of the all new 2017 BMW 5 Series. So, without further ado, let's begin. These are the adaptive LED headlamps of the all new BMW 5 Series with daytime running lights. Below which you can see the front parking sensors. This car doesn't have headlight washers. You do get LED fog lamps. The iconic BMW kidney grills. The main emblem on the hood. This particular variant is the 2 litre diesel sport line which is called the 520D Sportline version. You do get 18 inch alloy wheels, the M light alloy wheels on this package. Air intake and sport badging to give it a more sporty feel. Side mirrors with LED turn indicators. Let's see how this car looks from the side. Now let's have a look at the rear part. The LED tail lamps of the all new 5 series. Dual exhaust pipes. 520D badging. 520D stands for 5 series 2 litre diesel engine. Now let's open the boot. Press this button once and the boot automatically opens. You do get ample storage, does have a storage net, a spare tire and some tools. It doesn't come with power closing, means you have to shut it down manually. This is the fuel gate, just press it once to open. Push it back to close. This car is priced at 52 lakh ex showroom in New Delhi. For the sport line version, the luxury line costs 55 lakhs ex showroom. Now let's see what it has to offer under the hood. Under the hood is BMW's 2 litre twin turbo diesel engine. Producing 190 bhp of power and 400 newton meters of torque, does 0 to 100 in 7.5 seconds with a top speed of 235 kilometers per hour. This is the smart key that you get on the 5 series. These are some different settings that you can control. You need to charge this key. Very impressive key. Let's have a look at the interior. This is how the dash of the all new BMW 5 series looks like. This particular variant has tan leather interior. Let's see the rear seats. Looks quite comfortable. This is the main driver's door of the all new 5 series with wooden, wooden trim, the lock and unlock button, ambient lighting, padded leather, controls for your side mirrors, all four windows are fully automatic, control for your window locks and rear sunshade, some storage and bottle holder and button for your trunk release does have aluminum sport line scuff plates the driver's seat is fully electrically adjustable as well as the front passenger seat you do get a manual under thigh support extender very comfortable seats now let's hop in this is the steering wheel of the all new 5 series wrapped in leather 
does have leather stitching on the airbag cover also. This is the instrument cluster, fully digital. This is how it looks in the sport mode. Eco Pro, comfort. The dials change as you switch between modes to give you a more aggressive feel. Very nice. Presently, the car is in the sports mode. It does have paddle shifters. These are the controls for your cruise control. Here you get controls for your volume, mode, phone and microphone. Ambient lighting. You get the controls for your headlamps over here. You can control the brightness of the instrument cluster. As a front and rear fog lamps. You do get two person memory option for the driver's seat. The steering wheel is fully electrically adjustable. The start stop button, an auto cut button, the main infotainment screen which can be controlled from the iDrive controller and manually also. Let's turn on the hazards. Press this to turn the FM on. You can control the volume also, like this. CD changer, FM stations. Does have a dual zone climate control. Means you can set individual temperature zones for both sides. For the driver as well as passenger with individual fan speeds does have a max AC option and front and rear defrost with recycling function. A very sporty gear knob of the all new 5 series. Controls for your traction control, driving modes, sport, comfort and eco pro. The dials change as you switch between the modes as you have seen. Let's open this compartment. You do get some storage and wireless charging. USB input, cup holders, ashtray and a cigarette lighter. Let's shut this. E-parking brake and auto hold. This rotary dial in the center controls the infotainment screen. You can move up, down, left and right like this. Let's open navigation. This is the nav navigation menu. Shows my present location. Very easy to use. Radio. Let's see the main menu. The screen is all start screen also. This button activates your parking sensors. Under the armrest, you do get some storage area with illumination. Let's go back. These are some other settings that you get. This is how the passenger door looks. Very nice ambient lighting. You can change colors, has various color options. This is the glove box with illumination. You do get a lock and unlock button on the passenger door, but doesn't have the memory seats. Very nice dash. Now we'll be having a look at the rear seat where most of the owners will be spending their time. This is the rear passenger door. This is the window control. Ambient lighting, you do get a manual rear sunshade for both sides. Sport lines cuff plates. My height is six feet for reference. The driver seat is set to my driving position and I have around three inches of leg space. Some storage, rear AC vents. You can't set the temperature for the rear seats. It has to be controlled from the front. Armrest with two cup holders.
illumination this is how the dash looks from the rear seat these are some optional alloy wheels that you can opt for with the all new 5 series stay tuned for more videos please don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you